this. Have you seen the Vosh is unironically evil video from Doomer Media? If you have, what do you think of it? We have watched it. Although, so Armin and I, when we're working together, we watch a lot of content together. And that was a video that I need to watch again because I was too preoccupied with my work to like really absorb it all. And it was detailed. Like they came with citations. And that's what I loved. It was like exact but, as a nerd. But I it's my old, his old views though. Like he's like, that was his. Okay. So what I liked about that video is that I noticed how much wash is better than whatever was being portrayed in that video. You know what I mean? True. Today. He's grown a lot. Like, he's a lot better now. Yeah. I, I mean, I was, I was like, man, this guy has grown. And, and actually that's why the guy who made that, video eventually changed the title to I think he changed it multiple times because a lot of people pointed out that these this is like old wash and new wash is so much more better you know and, and you know this is what I I think a lot of people think that the internet has like this um, effect on making people crazier and crazier I feel like what I'm seeing is the opposite I think like a lot of mm -hmm. far lefty people no, I think a lot of our lefty people keep getting criticized and they have to keep fi figuring out how to respond to it and they grow out of their most crazy views. And also far, I noticed many of the far right people who do not go, okay, maybe it goes both ways. Some of them get completely crazy and they go out of orbit and they're like, okay, bye-bye, you're far too gone now. But I also noticed a lot of them because they engage with the leftists they start having to respond to criticism. They get better at not being so crazy at some point. Some of them, maybe not all of them, okay? But the interesting thing is that a lot of our lefty people sound a lot less insane now and a lot more nuanced and interesting and with more better takes. And also a lot of far right people used to be far right seem to be like now more nuanced than they used to be and acknowledge some of the, seem to be acknowledging some of the points that were being made by the other side. But one thing I interested, even they are growing and they're getting better at their points, they pretend that they, this was always their take. <laughs> like they don't, a lot of them don't admit that they used to be cringe and now they're based. They yeah. act like they were always this based. <laughs> but I do think, I do think like um, a lot of these content creators um, are a lot better at their takes than they used to be. Yeah, Vosh has grown a lot. I used to, I like couldn't stand him, but now recently I really like him. Like recently he was talking about like he was like honestly guys like this is a hot take. Like I think I might be thinking like that Antifa actually does more harm than good or something like that. I yeah, was like, and he Whoa. also said, and he also sweared at Islam. <laughs> yes. Oh, he has <laughs> such a good thing on Islam and the assassination yeah. of David Ames. I mean, he yeah, yeah. very good take. Mostly. I mean, guys, you have a leftist content creator attacking Islam with such a such a big platform. So I mean, like, yes, more of that, please. Thank you so much, because they don't listen to us. So it's good that leftist content creators are, and he's also, you know, so it's good. It's good. I think I think everybody's growing. I think I'm optimistic about the future of all. And some people are saying, oh, debate bros don't have an influence. Even the debate bros say they don't have an influence. I think they do. I think like. Uh, a lot of people are unable to actually consume content unless you turn it into, you know, intellectual content, unless you turn it into a sport. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, like I think turn it into like, we're talking about a lot of people that are being exposed to, I don't know, discussions about economics, healthcare, culture, um, you know, so many different policies, religions, so many different things that they would have never just read upon it or consumed books or courses up on it unless you could see people fighting over it. That's the only way it's entertaining enough for them to consume it. And if that's what it takes, then let it be, you know, you know, let if that's the only exposure these people are going to get to these discussions, let that be the case. You know what I mean? Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find 
anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.